Good afternoon, everyone. Today's tip is on the par three tenth hole at Kenilworth Golf Club, and we're just going to talk a little bit about strategy and how to approach this hole, in my opinion, to help you score as best as possible. So the flag is 177 yards away. I've just sapped it with my range finder. Um, so I'm going to take a seven iron because it's downwind as well. So the ball's going to go that little bit further than normal. With the flag, I'm not sure if you can see it on the video, tucked behind the bunker on the right almost, on the right hand side of the green. I'm going to keep my target very simple, middle of the green. As we said in the last video, because the greens are so small here, I'm not going to have too long a putt if I end up hitting my target, which is the centre of the green. The left hand side here is particularly um, more difficult than the right, even though this bunker's left and right of the green. If you were to miss the green on the right hand side, it's significantly easier chip shot wise rather than it is on the left in kind of that dip and again in the summer months it can almost bounce through almost onto the, the seventh tee so i'm going to keep my target very very central middle of the green and hopefully i can put a good swing on it and give myself a birdie putt and see how we get on Pushed a little right. I think that's okay, just right of the flag. Let's see how we got on. Okay, so you can see that I've pushed my iron shot considerably, probably a good, I don't know, 12, 13 yards off my target line. So it was a good job I was aiming at the middle of the green and not the flag, otherwise I'd be over there somewhere. But where I finished is between the cut of the fringe and the rough, almost on this line, and the ball sitting against the rough this side now this is quite a high risk shot if we're going to treat it as kind of a normal chip because we're going from long grass to short grass exactly where the ball is so a good tip here is to actually use your sand wedge but we're going to use the lead and edge of the club and hit it in the middle of the ball so almost the equator of the ball and that should almost get get it rolling like a putt it does say take some practice to get to get used to it but again, I'm just going to be making putting strokes here, trying to hit the middle of the ball with my wedge to see if it can come out rolling like a putt. See how we get on. Okay, not bad. Let's quickly grab the putter. I've got a new putter in the bag as well, which should be interesting. Um, okay, so about a three footer left tiny bit off the left hand side let's see how we get on pressure's on okay so managed to make a nice par there in the end but a couple of considerations when playing the 10th hole certainly right hand side of the green if if there's a particular miss which can suit us all a little bit better the right hand side is probably a little bit more predictable on getting up and down left hand side yeah a bit more danger there um and yeah another thing to consider if you do end up against off the fringe into that kind of that rough where the fringe meets the rough try the belly wedge option uh, and see how you get on we'll see you soon for another tip 